everyone. Well, I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you a little bit about Ireland. Uh, as you know, I just came back and it was such an amazing experience. Uh, talk a little bit about COVID, uh, just, just a minute or two so that you understand what it's like to travel right now and uh, help you make decisions if you want to or if you want to wait. Ireland was pretty um, open for us with some limitations. So you don't have to test to go from the United States. You are required to show your vaccination card. You'll need to upload it before you go. Um, and you will have to fill out a form, uh, just a contact tracing form. But everywhere we went, if you were going inside, you would show your vaccine card. They would take a little bit of information, your phone number and your name so that they could contact trace should there be any reason to. And uh, that was it. You were able to take your mask off once you sat down, if you were dining or if you were in a pub. But if you're walking around, you do need to wear your mask. Um, pretty uneventful uh, as far as that goes. Northern Ireland, a little more difficult. Uh, there is a little more testing. They are um, under um, the UK guidance. So they follow all of those rules. And uh, there was a little bit of testing involved to get there. And um, of course, when you come home, you must test again. Uh, but surprisingly uneventful outside, unless you're in a huge crowd, you don't have to wear your mask. But if you are in a crowd, obviously, it's a good idea to keep your mask on. Um, test took two tests on my way home and tested negative. So all is good <laughs> uh, for us here at Vibrant Travel. So that uh, is a little bit about my my COVID piece. So let's talk Ireland. Um, it is such an amazing place. Why should you go? I will say probably people, places, and pubs. You can see behind me, this is the Brazen Head. You can't see the full name. This is the oldest pub in Ireland. So of course we wanted to make a stop here. Pubs are uh, meeting places, by the way. Yes, there is alcohol served in pubs, but there are also served meals. And um, this particular pub had a lot of history involved, aside from the fact that it's very old. A lot of political uh, planning went on here in the early days. Um, the Easter Rising was planned here. Literary figures were here. So it was really sort of interesting. And the, the uh, person we met in the the uh, the bar as we were having dinner told us a little bit about the snug and I, if you've read some of my articles snug is sort of a separate place where many years ago the women would go because they weren't supposed to be in pubs and they would have a sort of a window that would allow them to receive food or drink what have you through this little window but it was a separate opening so he told us a little bit about that they don't have one there but I did see a few along my way uh, so uh, pubs are everywhere. Um, I, my recommendation is try to avoid the touristy ones. We made a stop at Temple Bar, um, which of course is well known. It's in every picture. So we stopped in and I'll tell you, I really enjoyed Brazen Head over the touristy pub. So uh, just a little, little uh, pro tip for you there. Um, so people are so nice. Uh, in Ireland. Everyone will um, go out of their way to help you. They uh, are very friendly and they speak English. So if you have any reservations about going to a country where another language is spoken, yes, they do have an accent, uh, but it's reasonably easy to understand unless you meet someone that's speaking Gaelic, uh, which, uh, which I did hear sometimes while I was there, but um, everyone really, they, they, everyone speaks English. So it's, it's easy to get around, easy to ask directions. Um, 
Another pro tip, make sure you bring um, coins. They're, they're one and two, two dollars are coins rather than paper bills. So make sure you have those. They're great for uh, tipping guides and uh, taxis prefer euros. They will take a credit card if needed uh, in, in many cases, but they prefer euros and, in, and some actually do request uh, euros. So uh, ask the question before you get in the cab if you're doing it. Dublin is super walkable. So I would say, and really most of the places we went and stayed were walkable, but uh, if you want to get around Dublin, you can walk just about anywhere or catch the hop on hop off bus. That's always fun too. So um, people, places, let's talk about places. It is stunningly beautiful. Dublin is a, is a city. So Dublin's going to look, it's going to have big buildings, it's going to have small buildings. This is, this brazen head is in Dublin. So you will see a variety, a mix of the old and new. It's a financial center. So you, you will see, I saw HubSpot, Facebook, Google, you know, all of those. Uh, and then I saw lots of little older establishments. So it's, uh, it, it's really, really interesting. But once you get out of Dublin, uh, yes, there are lots of sheep, and yes, they did cross the road, and I have a picture that I'll be posting, but uh, you've heard the expression that there are 50 shades of green. It's so amazing. The green is iridescent. Um, in, in some cases, you'll have darks, you'll have lights, you'll have multiple shades, just stunningly beautiful scenery. Um, down in the Glendalock area, it's a monastic site. So if you go to that site, your draw will drop. It just is breathtakingly beautiful. It's so hard to even explain with the mountains in the background. If you get a chance to walk down and by the lake, the lake uh, right there with these towering mountains in the background, something um, honestly that I hadn't expected <laughs> the mountains to be so tall. But uh, uh, just amazing. Uh, Cliffs of Moher. Oh, my goodness. There again, uh, if you're afraid of heights like I am, looking down is a little steep. Uh, it's a bit of a climb. It's uh, some stairs, some pathways, but stunningly beautiful. Hard to describe. I don't think the pictures actually do it justice. And I, I will be posting all of that, but just wonderful place. Um, and of course they have, you know, the, 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 when you're outside of Dublin or the, or the bigger cities, you will have um, just, just countryside as you drive along. It's hard to, to drive and not look on both sides of the road. Castles, uh, cathedrals, just so much history and so much beauty. So really, if you're thinking about going to Ireland, definitely do it. Um, if you are open to travel now, feel free to do that. If not, plan something for next year. It is uh, definitely worth the trip. Cost-wise, it's a reasonable cost for a trip. Um, you will you'll use euros if you're in um, the Republic of Ireland, Ireland, if you choose to go to Northern Ireland, you will be on the pound sterling there because it is considered the UK. So things to think about. Um, what else can I tell you about Ireland? The towns. The towns are so quaint. You'll have multicolored buildings. The pubs generally are bright. Um, Cathedral in the background, usually just charming and beautiful little towns. The Irish Sea is another area that, if you like the ocean like I do, it's so calming. It's not a calm sea. When the tide's coming in, the waves are splashing, and I, I have photos of that along uh, Giant's Causeway that, that I'll be posting. That is Northern Ireland and they break on the rocks and it's just, you just wanna sit there and watch and look at the waves and look at Giant's Causeway is amazing. 
uh, the basalt columns are, are hard to believe, uh, but they're there, they're beautiful. And um, another place that, that takes your breath away, I think it's these places call you to go see them. And I would recommend to anyone that wants to go to Ireland, go have fun. Uh, you will love it. You will have lasting memories. Uh, we uh, took a tour. I, I like to go on the tours that I offer to people so that I can speak from experience. And our tour, tour guide was amazing. He told us about fairies and leprechauns uh, intertwined with history and why you kiss the Blarney Stone and um, history all the way back to the Ice Age, honestly, and he carried us all the way through. And it was wonderful to hear that. He sang to us on the bus, so we got to hear Irish songs, and we had some really neat experiences uh, watching someone um, that's been using a loom for like 60 years in uh, Triona to build to uh, create sweaters. So create the fabric that creates the sweaters and uh, just the tweet, I should say, it was just amazing. And we heard someone sing a song, a historic song in a pub while we were having lunch. And it was, she, um, she made me cry. It was beautiful, uh, true story. And just lots of those little things. We had a historian, uh, PhD, has written several books on the Titanic, talked to us about the history of the Titanic and when it went down and what happened. You know, we've seen the movies, but how much of that is true? And, you know, he talked about lifeboats and how many and why they only have a certain amount back then on the ships. So just really so much information to take in. Uh, I, I do recommend that if you take a tour, add a few extra days in Dublin. If you don't ha already have them as part of the tour, you can do it on your own. You can do it as part of the tour. Just hop on the hop on, hop off or walk around and explore on your own. Google's great. <laughs> we, we did that a lot. So um, what else can I tell you? I, I, I think I'm out of things right now because I'm still on... <laughs> Still on Dublin time, I'm getting a little tired today. Um, so go, if you get a chance, go. If you wanna go with us, give us a call. I'll be planning some group trips for the spring. Um, if you wanna go on your own, you know we can work that out for you too. So pop into my website, take a look at what's there. I will be posting more information on, I, I took a lot of notes. Um, so I'll be posting on the hotels and on where we ate and all of that. And of course the sites that we saw. So pop in uh, www.vibranttravelco.com and take a look at the blog, the articles, see what you see, see what you like, ask us any questions you want. And um, the last thing I'll say is go, just go. You will love it. If you have any interest at all in Ireland, you're right <laughs> and you'll love it. So that's all for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed my short talk. I hope I didn't ramble too much, which I tend to do when I'm talking about something I really like. And we will see you later. Bye now.